Since April, everyone in Poland must wear a mask when out in public. But what do you do if you can't leave home easily to get one? A new smartphone app adapted for the current coronavirus crisis seeks to provide the answer. With just a few simple clicks, users can order a mask or other essential items to be delivered to their door. This support is really important, especially for elderly people. First of all, they are afraid to go out and walk in the street because of the general feeling of panic. They are also afraid of getting infected. The app is part of a project called the Good Support Programme. Almost 1.9 million of its 2.2 million budget is financed through the EU's cohesion policy. In Poland's West Pomerania province, around 300 elderly people with support from carers and volunteers are using the app. Aimed at responding to the needs of the most vulnerable, the programme relies on the support of caregivers, families and neighbours. In Woc, everything is coordinated from the town hall during the crisis. Before COVID-19, the project usually dealt with simple administrative demands, such as appointments to see doctors or physiotherapists. But with its real-time geolocation, the technology has been adapted for urgent requests during the pandemic. Thanks to the programme, I have an overview of all the volunteers I work with and a database of all the people in need of home help. The platform is really easy to set up. I just have to type the names of the people we're looking after, see who's taking care of them and assign tasks. Right now, masks are one of the biggest requests from those using the app. Produced locally in Voc, volunteers like Mache help pack and distribute them along with other key essentials. Through the mobile app, I can receive a message from an old person or someone living alone who needs help. Based on that, we can deliver food, take the dog for a walk, put the rubbish out or even just have a chat on the phone. The mobile application has been made free of charge throughout the pandemic. While Arena is using it today in Poland, the app is also being developed in English and Spanish and should soon, according to the Good Support Programme, be available in other countries.